Hello and welcome to State of the Economy. Today we will discuss Prime Minister Narendra Modi's biggest gamble yet after he came to power, which is withdrawing 85% of the currency in circulation uh, and replacing them uh, so as to attack black money and uh, clean up the, the financial system. It's a huge gamble, it's a risky gamble and what impact will this have on India's macro economy in the short term, in the medium term, uh, is what we are here to discuss. Uh, you're all, you've all seen how uh, the whole replacement uh, of currency, the mechanism uh, is happening. There are massive queues around the country uh, where people are queuing up to, to replace their 500 rupees and 1000 rupee notes which have been withdrawn. Uh, uh, the, the amount, uh, the total amount of currency being withdrawn is 15 lakh crore. This is 85% of all currency in circulation. There's a thriving trade happening, informal trade in 1000 rupee currency and 500 which are being demonetized. Uh, there are all kinds of complex uh, black market uh, developing, whether people going into gold or, or whether people buying into real estate, even buying dollars to to, to, to legitimize uh, the, their 1,000 and uh, 500 rupee notes which have got uh, uh, demonetized. Uh, to discuss the larger macroeconomic impact, uh, we, we have the right person here in our studio, uh, Dr. Arvind Virmani, uh, former chief economic advisor uh, uh, at the finance ministry as also India's representative at the IMF as executive director. Uh, the right person uh, to actually deconstruct this whole, uh, the economics of demonetization. Uh, uh, welcome to our show, Dr. Arvind Urmani. Thank you. Pleasure. Now, I would just uh, ask you to just explain uh, what does this demonetization mean? Uh, demonetization of such a magnitude, 85% of currency being withdrawn. Uh, has it happened before? And just as a as a teaser, as a as a, uh, as a kicker, I would like to just recall what Kaushik Basu has tweeted, uh, the chief economist, former chief economist of the World Bank and also chief economic advisor. Kaushik right. Basu says, GST is good economics, demonetization is not. Demonetization is, is complex economics. Its collateral damage can far exceed its benefit. Now, this is what Kaushik Basu says. So, uh, I want to so, sort of uh, you so, uh, examine. Uh, so, uh, the point is, uh, we have to kind of understand uh, uh, what uh, these dynamics are. So, yeah. I will start, as you said, I sure. will start by Please giving, explain simply, giving, yeah. giving the simple economics yeah. of the whole thing. Mm. So, uh, uh, when we uh, think of currency, uh, uh, because uh, currency, there are two uses of currency, yeah. which happen simultaneously. One is ad as a medium of exchange, yeah. and the other is as a store of value. Mm -hmm. And the implications which follow from these two are different. So let us first start with the transaction. Okay. So uh, uh, there are various estimates, but let's just take an arbitrary figure. Let's say 15% mm -hmm. of the demonetized uh, of the currency mm -hmm. is used in active mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. transaction, okay. trade, exchange. Okay. We buy things, everybody buys, currency yeah. is used. Okay. So uh, the, the impact of that is devastating in the short run. Okay. Uh, I, in fact, the, my first thought when I heard this thing, my tweet was, that uh, trade would collapse, yeah, you know? Okay. Mm -hmm. So the immediate effect is that, so mm -hmm. it becomes critical to- Especially in the informal sector, right? All over in all a over. way, yeah. okay. but in the retail part, mm -hmm. you see the wholesale or the manufacturers deal mm -hmm. in large numbers, they often have accounts, etc. Yeah. They have trade- And they have special banking relationship, etc. That's right, yeah. they have all kinds of mm -hmm. arrangements. So mm -hmm. the impact is uh, large on retail. Detail. Now, of course, you are right in India because we have a large informal retail mm -hmm. trade, that will be more. Yeah. We also have people working informally, etc. all those. So yeah. I call that generally Like detail. farmers going into that's the, right. the sow, are, sowing season, rubbing. That's right. Yeah. But more on the labor side, you know, if they are going to do big purchases, like mm -hmm. when they t uh, get uh, fertilizer mm -hmm. or, or something like that, they do it in bulk. So bulk. that uh, mm -hmm. perhaps yeah. may not be that affected yeah. right. because they have a relationship. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so what happens? 
So this money has gone out. It has to be replaced. I mean, nobody, I mean, central banks know that. That is mm. not a, a mystery. Yeah. So this has to be replaced as quickly as possible. The longer it is delayed. Yeah. But the government is saying maybe a month. Uh, yeah. So uh, we'll get to the operational yeah, details yeah, later. Yeah. But yeah. theoretically, the longer, the longer it's delayed. Mm. And, uh, you know, if you replace 5% immediately, the, the negative impact may be only 10% and mm. so on. Mm -hmm. So uh, how quickly and how effectively you replace will determine the short-term negative effects. There is no doubt. As mm -hmm. I told you, without mm -hmm. thinking, my first tweet was, mm -hmm. there is going to be this negative effect. Mm -hmm. And that also connects to this bold and risky mm -hmm. business. Because right. they, they, this is not so mystery. You're, you're saying that so that's one. OK, you're okay. saying the withdrawal of such a magnitude the, is... Yeah, we'll come to the magnitude very, very would have an effect in any case, any case. how long it will take to replace. Mm. See, the magnitude in this part of it is less important it really determines how effectively you can replace it. Nah? Replace, yeah. it, it, it's, it gets into the operational detail. Yeah. We'll come to that. Okay, mm. So that's one part of it. And there's no doubt about this. Mm. And we also know that it will be replaced. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. The question is only will it take two months, three months, six months, or what time? Exactly. And in that time, there'll be a negative effect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's come to the second part, the store of value. Mm. So value means, uh, you know, we, we know people uh, store in real estate, etc., black money. Mm -hmm. So the focus there Gold, clearly, yeah. the whole point of this was mm. to affect that store of value of people who are uh, basically two major sources, corruption mm -hmm. and evasion of tax in one way or another. Sure, yeah. My view has always been, and I've said it on TV, uh, is that the corruption part actually is more important than the tax evasion, yeah. but we can have different That estimates. includes the, the way political parties get That's funded. That's right. The, yeah. the whole, so the issue here is how much they've held in cash, right? Mm. And a part of that, the estimates I have seen, which are very guesstimates really, mm. is about 3.5 lakh uh, crores of it mm. will get immobilized. Okay. okay. So let's see what is the effect of that. Now what is this cash like? 3.5 lakh crores? This crore? is the, you know, you remember Sukram? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when he was caught, he threw bories of cash outside yeah. his window, yeah, yeah. that kind of thing. So you're saying the one, literally, pol politicians holding. Yes, yeah. the literally yeah. the part which big... Uh, holders yeah. like politicians, like corrupt bureaucrats, like, like corrupt business, police. Big business. See, big business. I don't think keeps bodies of cash. Mm -hmm. So we'll discuss that the, again. The, mm -hmm. the point later. Mm -hmm. But uh, and the real estate brokers and all who who keep. But what about real estate businesses? Yes, real yeah. estate. Yeah. I, I'm coming to that. That's where it. They're also big business, right? right. Yeah. So so but let's finish the economics yeah, yeah. of it, right? Yeah. So let's say this is immobilized. The mm -hmm. effect is what we call a wealth effect. But this wealth effect is more on black money. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's on the black economy, yeah. not the white economy. In yeah. fact, some of this uh, will have a positive effect on the white economy. Mm -hmm. But the black part of it, which everybody claims, uh, you know, again, the numbers we don't know, is it 10% of economy, whatever, mm -hmm. it will affect the black part of the economy. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the wealth, but uh, we should not confuse it with the, the white part. Mm -hmm. okay? By the way, as per a report, 1,000 page report mm -hmm. uh, submitted by NIPFP to Finance Minister Arun Jaitley, mm -hmm. The size of the black economy, uh, I've seen that report, mm -hmm. uh, is estimated at 45 to 50 percent. I frankly, of, of GDP, I don't, of GDP. Uh, well, you've got to be very careful of the definitions. I, I don't agree with that because okay. Okay. it's also okay. question. I'll tell you what the problem is. It's mm -hmm. flow and stock. Okay. You know, they're quite different things. Different, yeah. Are okay. you measuring stock? This is stock. They, they, they're usually confused. I've okay. seen too many studies which confuse okay. these things. Okay. So I don't believe 45. Okay. So, anyway, frankly. carry on. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, so, so we, uh, so this talk. What is going to happen? One major effect we know mm -hmm. will be on the real estate market, which is and stock, the functioning, yeah. mm -hmm. which will also be depressed. Depressed. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. But here we expect that land prices will start declining mm -hmm. because there is no way that that demand can be revived. The black demand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there will be some complementarity and substitution that the white part will increase, mm -hmm. just as it will in the currency part. You know, we'll have more people opening accounts. Mm -hmm. We'll have uh, more people using Paytm. I can okay. tell you, I was hesitating for a year, okay. but I just opened my Paytm so how long, account today. How long will this take, this process? Right. So now we come to the difficult judgment issue. Yeah. Right. So we have some positives and negatives here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, how long will it take? Uh, the immediate effects, I think, will probably uh, be moderated in a month mm -hmm. uh, uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, this uh, but the remote parts of the country like you are saying rural etc may take a little bit because the cash has to reach everybody now mm -hmm. for the thing to resume that may take three to six months mm -hmm. would be my guesstimate let's say okay okay on this transaction part okay you mean it, it could take three to six months for right for the entire 15 lakh crore to get replaced. That's right. Let's say, yeah, whatever. Let's estimate. No, no, not 15 lakhs. Oh, the Only 3. the transaction 5. part. The 3.5 No, 3.5 is not going to be replaced. Mm. 
the what is needed for transaction may be Wh which, uh, yeah. about 10 15 percent i'm just saying okay mm. so it will be 1.4 at least or mm. two needs to be replaced two lakh crores needs to be replaced yeah. or but replaced it has to go to every place where transaction takes place every place that's yeah. the tough part na? the decentralized kind yes, of yes that's the tough part it yeah. may be replaced very quickly mm. in delhi bombay etc mm. mm. but let's say some remote village in uh, bihar or who, who would be holding the time. remaining uh, uh, 15 lakh so, crores so again be careful you know there's a transaction when we're discussing it's important a lot of people mix it up mm. so it's the wealth part is the part which will be immobilized Okay. That 3.5 estimate I'm talking about, lakh crores. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not a bad thing, mm -hmm. except there'll be a temporary effect on uh, on on the yeah. black economy. I mean, yeah. there will be. It will be. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but presumably all of us. That that's the whole point. Mm -hmm. That's what we all keep complaining. Yeah. Uh, just uh, to put the perspective, you remember when the black money bill and the Swiss stuff and all was going on? Mm -hmm. Everybody said, "But you're not doing anything about the domestic." Domestic. Now yeah. it is being done. We are saying, "Oh, it's all outside." Mm -hmm. So we can't have it both ways. I mean, yeah. one can have differing judgments mm -hmm. about the importance. But do you think, uh, Mr. Virmani, that that this could have been uh, kind of done in a phased way, or that? Yeah. Uh, uh, such a huge magnitude, 85% okay. uh, of currency being right. being replaced, uh, right. do you, and you yourself said it's very risky. Right. So, could the risk have been uh, okay. mitigated a bit? Uh, good question. So, uh, you already mentioned the size, but let me put it in perspective. Uh, I have seen estimate that the last time it happened, which people keep quoting, I think, during Moraji's time. 1978. Okay, was less than 2% of and the whole currency. This is 85%. This is 80 to 85%. So, therefore, so it's the huge. risk is okay, huge. First thing. Mm -hmm. So, that is why it's more risky. More if it risky. was a small thing, mm -hmm. it would have been sorted out in a month mm -hmm. or so. Mm -hmm. That's also why we will immobilize more of the mm -hmm. uh, accumulated mm -hmm. black money in the form of cash. Okay? Mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the second uh, point is, no, you cannot do these things sequentially. Okay, because why? Let me tell you. The big people always have more ways of doing it. So mm -hmm. actually, sequential hurts the smaller people uh, less, or mm -hmm. it doesn't fulfill the purpose here. Right? Okay. Remember, mm -hmm. the purpose is to immobilize that corrupt money and the black money, which is held in the form of currency. Mm -hmm. Okay, that purpose would not have been as effectively. Uh, but tell me, uh, Mr. Virmani, I. Uh, the political economy of this whole exercise, mm -hmm. uh, as far yeah. as I understand, is uh, this is something that I, I got from a BJP spokesperson who was on television channels defending the government's move. Mm -hmm. He clearly told me that I asked him why is why are big businesses uh, or not big businesses, say real estate businesses, infrastructure companies who are known to over invoice imports, launder black money and fund political parties is a very well known mechanism, right? And political party funding is a very structural issue in India and uh, they get funded by uh, in cash uh, and 80% of large political parties have their uh, election uh, political funding in cash. Yeah. It comes from businesses. So, so why couldn't that be attacked first? So, so, uh, uh, so my question to him was yeah. that why are you uh, going for s smaller lots, why not start right. with uh, them? So he said, no, no, the, right. one should start with the smaller lot, let people come into the banking system. That will take a longer time right. to, so, to, yeah. to to address. So good question. Now, right. let me give you the economics of this issue, right? Yeah. I'm going to focus on that. We can discuss yeah. politics yeah. at the end if you have time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The economics is like this. You know, uh, the, uh, the 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 again the the problem is uh, uh, the one perspective is that this is not by itself going to solve. You know, if every anybody yeah. thinks yeah. that one action will uh, solve a problem, it that is totally wrong. It's like a blood transfusion. It, it may no, get but infected it, it, later. You also. have to do a series of things. So see, yeah. see this when we say I mentioned real estate. You already had a real estate bill. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That is going to help. Mm -hmm. But there are other things which need to be done, mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, reducing circle rates. Mm -hmm. You know, some people have estimated that uh, prices of land could decline by 50%. Mm -hmm. That will not happen if your circle rates remain so high. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there are a whole series of things we can come back to if we have time to discuss. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Mm -hmm. The second point, uh, you know, I must uh, say it again because people have this uh, thing that uh, big business, they have lots of other opportunities. You see, they are operating all the time. Mm -hmm. they, they don't keep stacks of money mm -hmm. lying around. No, no, when it, no, you're not when politicians it. ask them, they have to convert. They convert white to black. No, that, you're, you're absolutely right. right. That's what I'm saying. Right. They don't keep... Uh, okay, so, so how to address they, that? They don't keep cash. Uh, right. Uh, uh, but, but they do 
they have a mechanism, short term mechanism to convert. Right. So, yeah. what do we need to do? That's like one they, they over invoice imports. So, what we need to do uh, is we need to do uh, uh, tax and other reforms. As I said, we can go to detail. And second, we need election funding reform. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. this part of a whole. Yeah. Now, once this happens, so, yeah. to be fully successful, that's what people should be insisting. I will be talking about it. Hopefully, you and others in yeah. the media will say, okay, let's do election reform. So, immediately should be followed and up with And criminal this? justice reform. These yeah. are the two key things mm. which people don't think of. Okay. Mm. So, so election funding reform is a big piece. Yes. Mm. Uh, to, to be permanently successful. Otherwise, it and will be en ensure maybe that three, five mm. years, mm. Uh, you'll have an improvement in this whole situation yeah. and then it'll go back. Yeah. But it won't go back immediately. So, that so should not be. So, you, you, you essentially, you're saying that to prevent regeneration of uh, That's black right. money... That's right. You have to do other reforms. You need other structural uh, That's right. Reforms. Some have happened, but mm. there are several more which are needed. Okay. Mm. Now, tell me, coming back to the economics of what has happened now, mm -hmm. Kaushik yeah. Basu says demonetization is complex economics. Its collateral damage uh, can far outstrip uh, the benefits. Right. Now, you yourself, uh, you also believe that there are risks uh, when you do it on such a big scale. That's right. Now... Tell me what happens to the next one year uh, growth consumption prospects. Right. So we were just getting into this. So you talked uh, about the short term. Right. Yeah. So let's say uh, uh, we have to start with some assumption. Let's yeah. say in three to six months, the short term transaction thing has been solved. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we go to the longer term effects of this real estate sector. Yeah. So, uh, the real estate sector is definitely going to take much longer to recover. It's a monetary Anyway, it was a problem. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's a monetary shock, right? Yeah, the mm. sectoral effect will be seen most clearly in the construction and real estate sector. I'm going back to macro. I'm, yeah, so I know, I'm, I know. Yeah. I'm ignoring now, yeah. you know, who's losing, gaining okay. and all yeah. that. The Mac macro effects. Sure. Mm. So, clearly the recovery of that sector mm -hmm. is going to be delayed. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. So, again, it comes in what I said. The government has to think about what are the measures which are needed, which maybe they were hesitating earlier. Like I mentioned circle rate, but it mm -hmm. could be interest rate policy. Mm -hmm. For example, if there was a plan to by the central bank to lower interest rates over the next year, mm -hmm. maybe that should be brought up mm -hmm. because this sector is going to su uh, suffer. If there are constraints on housing loans, for example, which we all keep, keep saying for the common person, maybe now is the time to accelerate that reform. Mm -hmm. So you will need to counter... Uh, uh, this uh, further slowdown, mm -hmm. particularly in the real estate construction sector. Mm -hmm. So it's it, it's conditional. Mm -hmm. If the government doesn't do anything, you'll get one estimate of decline. Mm -hmm. uh, today I was seeing estimates of 0.5 to 1% of GDP effect mm -hmm. right now in this year. Mm -hmm. That can happen if you don't do anything. Yeah. You have to take countermeasures. You have to take countermeasures, yeah. yeah. Do you think, uh, Mr. Virmani, you've been dealing with economic policy so many years in the government. Do you think the timing of this uh, might have been better uh, when the economy was uh, had fully recovered? Uh, in a slowing economy, does it create problems? I mean, just as a purely yeah. timing issue. <laughs> okay, so here uh, uh, I think the politics and everything comes in, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so one uh, deadline is clear. Mm -hmm. You know, this government is there till 2019. Mm -hmm. If it had to do it, Mm -hmm. Clearly, the only choice was 2017, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should it have delayed or not? Uh, I, I think it's a judgment of politics. As I said, the, the, uh, you know, if you were looking purely at economics, mm -hmm. uh, that's where the gamble comes in. Yes, I mean, if I was the decision maker and thinking economics, mm -hmm. I would rather not take the risk. Yeah. So, uh, let me put it differently. If I was the chief economic advisor, I would definitely say, let the economy get back to full stream before doing it. Before doing it. But that's purely economics. Yeah. But tell me, the yeah. other point, interesting point that you made was, yeah. this has to be followed up with other structural right. measures, right. like fund, election funding reforms, circle rate reforms, real estate sector, maybe even gold. And, and tax and all. Tax, GST has tax. been done. There are other yeah, things. G, and, G, and a proper GST, not yeah. this... Six, well, seven, we are yeah. moving there. Moving I mean, there. that means now, that maybe next year no, they so should simplify it further. So you're saying yeah. that if, if these C remember CIT, no, no, I'm, on a, the I'm on a different point. Corporate, yeah. So if these follow-up uh, reforms are not done, you're suggesting that G GDP could fall. Uh, no, no, no. Could the, fall? The, the the ones you're mentioning are more to make sure that this we don't go back to the same amount of black money again. Okay. So there are one sets of things mm -hmm. which is to sustain this. Lowering of black money, okay, the which will happen. Mm -hmm. As I said, uh, if we don't do other things in, let's say, three to five, let's say five years, mm -hmm. you will go back to a similar thing again. So yeah. it's you know, then it would be pointless. Which has been the 
Uh, historical experience. Sir. Right, except yeah. as we said, this is a much larger. Uh, yeah, this thing, is huge. Uh, 80. Yeah, 85% okay. of the currency. Right. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and the second one, sorry, what was the uh, second question? No, no, you uh, said that yeah. that if they don't take certain measures, the, yeah. growth, uh -huh. then growth, the flow, growth rate could slip. Right, right. Mm. So, so one is black money measures, mm. the other is is growth measures. Mm -hmm. they, are, they are kind of separate, yeah. uh, but they are related. Yeah. For example, GST simplification will both have a effect on uh, compliance etc mm -hmm. uh, and has an effect on black money generate i mean yeah, and sure. on the economy GST right? also yeah. you'll have efficiency effects and black money effects yeah so uh, here's another one macro okay I, I forgot to mention now in the macro context uh, it, it's also uh, uh, good to remember that if uh, this shifts the balance towards more declaration which i expect mm -hmm. only thing is we don't know how much mm -hmm then tax revenues will actually go up. Mm -hmm. So some of that money should be used to reduce the deficit and to spend more on infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There is also that positive effect which could become negative. Yeah. So uh, Kaushik's point about complexity, which a lot of peop economists will all know, mm -hmm. is correct. Yeah. Nobody is saying it's not complex, mm -hmm. but it is not so complex that and we can't think. And what is the think. collateral damage that he's talking about? The collateral damage is short term. Dekha hai short na? term a a yeah. And the, uh, these two big ones, big ones yeah. short term and mm -hmm. the real estate yeah. will recover slower. Slow. That, that's mm -hmm. a damage, yes? Yeah, yeah that's a okay? damage. Yeah. But, uh, but as I said, the macro, there is also an opportunity. Opportunity. So again, it, uh, it's complex because it depends. If you use that opportunity, you'll do good. Okay. If you don't, it becomes negative. It becomes that's negative, where the complexity yeah. comes. Now, now, now it's not simple. Yeah, it's not simple. Yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a good point here. Yeah. The other thing, Arvind, is there is also speculation that uh, the finance minister, Arun Jaitley, said this uh, in one of his interviews, uh, that in 1978, uh, when demonetization was done about he said about 25% of the of the currency mm -hmm. got extinguished as it was did not come back for replacement. So mm -hmm. he assumes that right. it was whatever it was black money which couldn't be brought into right, the right. you know the, the the owners of that money didn't chose not to bring it. Mm -hmm. Now what is that? And he speculates that even this time maybe around something of that order, 25-30% right. may get extinguished. Now does that provide? Uh, uh, an opportunity now. This this 25 30 percent would be about three lakh crores. Uh, assuming yeah, that's what people are yeah, using. 15 lakh crores. 3.5. 3.5. Yeah, yeah. Now, can that be used by the government to recapitalize banks? There, there is speculation that the government may use uh, that cushion. Uh, RBI may give it to the government, and government may uh, use it uh, to recapitalize bank. That's the order of the money that banks today need for recapitalization. So let me respond as an economist, yeah. right? What would I advise? Yeah. I, I don't think that's a wise thing at this point now. Okay. You've taken the pain. Mm -hmm. It's much better now to make sure you get the revenue mm -hmm. because part of the effect of this is going oh. to be to raise declarations, okay. you know, of people who, who have not declared, for example, ever. Mm -hmm. So you are going to get, I mean, that's what I'm saying. People are not thinking, people, I mean, I hope I, I, mm -hmm. the government you know, mm -hmm. is what matters. Mm -hmm. People are not thinking that is going to give you more revenues also in the six months. Use it. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the depressive effect will be larger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Th that's where the complexity is. Okay. If you get money, be prepared to use it. And the best place to use it is infrastructure because mm -hmm. that makes construction and that will help you keep the construction sector but from this, collapsing but further. If, but, I mean, but, not collapsing, but yeah, you know, flowing. But, but, but the same effect would be there if you put it as bank capital. The bank no, could lend see, more uh, to infrastructure, right? No, but the point is... It's a very indirect way. Uh, that why do it? demonetization then? No, yeah, yeah. Your whole purpose of demonetization is gone. You should have just had a scheme. Okay. Why are you doing demonetization? Mm -hmm. So you're completely changing the approach, no? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you had one plan. Mm -hmm. Now you're saying jump to another plan. That I would be totally against. Okay. I mean, if you had thought of it earlier, we can discuss what you should have, should not okay. done. But now, mm -hmm. that, that's just not on. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Arvind Virmani, for uh, talking to us and really explaining in detail the dynamics of this mega demonetization that the government is attempting. Uh, that's all uh, we have in this uh, edition of State of the Economy. We'll be back with you next week. Thanks for watching.